Searches for missing Madeleine McCann have begun in Portugal 16 years after the British girl went missing on a family holiday. A reservoir around 50 kilometres from Praia de Lutz, where Madeleine went missing in 2007, has been sealed off and a no-fly zone has been put in place. It will be the first major operation of its kind since June 2014, when British police were given permission to do digs in Praia de Lutz. It involves sniffer dogs and ground-penetrating radar. This time round, expert divers are set to explore the murky depths of the dam, but digs will also take place in woodland nearby. The search area is where a lorry driver says he saw a woman handing a child who looked like Madeline over to a man two days after she went missing from her apartment. The reservoir was searched twice in February and March 2008 by divers hired by a Portuguese lawyer. Two bags containing small bones were found during the second search after divers had recovered several lengths of cord, some plastic tape and a single white cotton sock. Police were alerted following the discovery but subsequently ruled out the possibility that the bones were human because of their size. Christian Bruckner, the prime suspect in the disappearance, described the reservoir as his little paradise. He's believed to have lived there for a time in a motorhome around the same time Madeleine went missing. The search is set to last for at least two days and beyond that if anything of relevance is found.